How this is new with a minute of medicine for your mind. Way back in the day, I was buying my first car. Went to my dad because I needed him to co-sign. He was like, no problem, but I need to see your budget. What's your plan? So I saw him my budget. I think it's on point. He went through it line by line, item by item. Said, you sure you can afford this car? I was like, yeah. He said, how much it costs? I told him. He said, well, it's right there. He said, well, well you, you're missing some things. So he went on to explain to me, listen, you didn't budget for insurance. You didn't budget for your gas, for your oil, you know, for tires, for uh, uh, um, registration and different things that you're going to need to be able to maintain the car. It's easy to get the car, but it's a little harder to keep it and to maintain it. You see, what I'm trying to say to you today is real simple. See, God has always intended for us to be plenteous and to be prosperous and have everything that we need and most of what we want. You know, but we have the misconception that God's going to bless us with these things. No, he's placed gifts, gifts, skills, and abilities in us so we can go get our blessings. That's why he put Adam and Eve in a garden so they could produce what they need. You see, we have a large misconception and we focus on blessings thinking that it's something that we get, getting the thing. And that's the, a bad misconception. We shouldn't focus on getting the thing. We need to turn our focus on taking the thing that we got, reseeding it so that we can reproduce resources so that we can not only maintain what the thing that we got and keep the thing that we got, but so that we can get even more. You see, it's one thing to get something, but it's a whole nother thing to be able to maintain it and to keep it. This is new with a minute of medicine for your mind.